Coming up next on Picking Up the Pieces, Andy Sachs, owner and chief sparkler at Spark Presentations. Hello, welcome to the show, everyone. My name is Andrew Winnick, your elevator pitch coach, sitting in for Kim Bissett, and I'm really excited about our show today. Whether you're currently working or currently looking for work, you know how important it is to have a strong competitive advantage. And today we have an expert in a skill that, once mastered, gives you that competitive advantage in any working environment. Our guest today is Andy Sachs of Spark Presentations. Andy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Andy is the owner and chief sparkler. And Andy, let's start off. Um, why is it that people who are comfortable speaking in public have such a great advantage in the working world? Well, look at public speaking. It is one of the most feared activities in the country. In fact, if you look at most top 10 lists of Americans' fears, public speaking is more feared than drowning, more feared than heights and airplanes, more feared than insects. It's right up at the number one slot. So you think about that. Public speaking is the single most feared activity in the entire country by the majority of Americans. That means, as Jerry Seinfeld once said, that if you're at a funeral, you'd actually be more comfortable in the casket than delivering the eulogy. <laughs> so now think about that fear as an opportunity. If you could master a skill mm -hmm. that the vast majority of Americans dread doing more than doing anything else, if you could really command an audience and if you could have fun doing it, you could become incredibly valuable to any organization. Interesting. And so how would you... How would you go about applying that skill? Like, what's the, what, so you master the skill, what, how would you go about applying it in the workplace? Oh, there are an endless number of situations where public speaking comes in handy, starting with the job interview process itself. Mm -hmm. Even talking with somebody one on one, you're going to be using public speaking skills. Okay. And then there are a whole myriad of opportunities in any organization. It might be giving sales pitches. It might be giving a presentation at a conference to your peers in the industry. It might be uh, doing a teleseminar or a webinar, even going on camera and making a video that's posted online. It might be doing a staff retreat or a training program internally, and on and on and on. Think about how many opportunities you have in any organization simply to address one or more other people in your group. Every one of those is a public speaking opportunity. That's great. I know, I know you like to talk about Larry Bird and yeah. the, way he, the way he used to approach this. So tell us a little bit about his approach. To well, that's how I feel about public speaking and the opportunity it presents, that it gives you the chance to be what I call the give me the ball person. And mm -hmm. you think about Larry Bird back in this heyday with the Celtics in the 80s. He was, more than any other player, the give me the ball person for the Celtics. So imagine fourth quarter, team's down by two, 10 seconds left, game's on the line, you have time to run one play, Celtics are over on the sidelines in the huddle. Bird was the one, inevitably, who would look at the coach and say, give me the ball, I'll get it done. He had that kind of confidence in his own ability, and in creating that confidence within himself, he made himself more valuable to, to the team because he would get it done. Gotcha. Well, now think about speaking in an organization. You have this skill that you like doing, you've mastered it, this thing that nobody else wants to do. That means that any time one of those public speaking opportunities comes up, the uh, leading a staff retreat or doing training or speaking at an industry and on and on, you can be the give me the ball person. Mm. You could say, give me this presentation. I'll get the basket scored for you. I'll win this game for you. And when you do that, again, you set yourself apart from all of your coworkers and you, make, you also let your boss know, hey, you don't have to do it yourself. You can even <laughs> relax. Don't worry, I'll take care of it for you. You really make your boss look good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and of course, any good job you do reflects well on them. Right. So you make yourself more valuable, and that makes it more important to keep you, and it makes you more important within your organization. Well, and that does sound interesting, that you can become the give me the ball person for yeah. a ball that, that nobody really wants. Yeah, <laughs> for a, and for a ball that almost anybody else would drop in some way. Right, right, right. gotcha, gotcha, yeah. great.